So, before starting a project, create a new temporary working folder for that project. Always use the Save As option and create a new separate PDS file each time you do a save. Don't put all your eggs in one PDS basket. Once you're satisfied that your project is fully completed, you may now want to export your project to a pack project folder for archiving. When I save a project for archiving, I first create a new pack project folder somewhere on my computer or on an outboard auxiliary storage drive. Next, in PowerDirector, I simply click on File, then on Export Folder, and then on Pack Project Materials. Then you can use the Browse window to locate this new folder. And now all your project assets and your last PDS save will be exported to this packed project folder. Once the packed project folder is filled with your project, you can then store or archive this folder. And as the project is now packed, you can always revisit it and someday in the future add new media or delete something in order to create a brand new version of this project. You do this by simply locating and opening the pack project and then double click on the PDS file. And now this archive project will open and fill your timelines just the way you left it weeks or months ago. But there is one other step that you need to consider when packing a project. Because remember, only the clips, images and audio files that are in your timelines will be exported to your pack project folder. All the other unused assets that are still up in your media library that you decided not to use in the timelines will not be exported. Only the assets that made it into your production from the media library and are in your timelines will be packed. Other items that are not exported to your pack folder include any custom fonts you may have installed on your computer that you used in your project, and any downloaded custom particles, templates, or menus that you may have downloaded from the director zone and installed in your computer. And again, any of the clips, images, and audio in your Power Director's library that remained unused and never made it down into your timelines. Now, as long as your computer remains in the same condition and state, with all these custom items still installed, your packed project will reopen just fine, because the PDS file will be able to locate these custom items. But still, it's a good idea to create a subfolder within your packed project folder and send a copy of any custom font or any custom particle or template or menu to this subfolder. Then you'll be sure that you can reinstall these custom fonts and templates if you ever need to reopen your pack project in a new computer that doesn't have these custom items installed. You just simply open the pack project folder, then open the subfolder and install these custom items to the new computer before you open your pack project. And again, you may also want to send all of your unused assets to that subfolder, just in case you think you might need them someday. But remember, if you have followed this suggested project management workflow correctly, then those unused assets are only copies. Your originals are still in their original folders. So you'll have to decide if it's really necessary to save all those unused asset copies. Now, PowerDirector forum member Halcon shared a great tip with the forum. What he does 
at the end of a project is open an extra track in his project. He then places all his unused assets from the project's library into that spare track. So even though these assets were unused in his project, they are still now included when he packs his project. Though this method of project management does require a bit of discipline to maintain a temporary working folder and to pack your project, in the long run, it's more than worth the effort. So give it a try and see if it's a good fit for you too.